Justice for a Georgia man denied a new job simply because he's black. Good evening. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Alan Devlin. Thanks for joining us here on The Six. A jury awarded Kenny Falk more than $3 million in a case of what's called race matching. Atlanta News First Zach Summers live tonight in Midtown Atlanta. Zach, you spoke with Falk's attorneys. They say this is part of a troubling trend with overseas companies coming to the U.S. and ignoring our discrimination laws. Yeah, Kenny Falk said he had to take this case to court, not just for himself, but for the black men and women in the fight who, who came before him, rather, in the fight for civil rights. And I'll just be honest, I was, I was angry at first. When Kenny Falk didn't get a sales job at DeMurco Express in September 2019, he thought it may have been because of a misdemeanor on his record. However, he learned more than a year later it was actually because of the color of his skin. I kind of know racism happens, but... I didn't expect them to be so bold with it. A former HR representative from the Taiwan-based global shipping company with offices in College Park contacted Falk. He had the job, but the whistleblower explained that when the president of DeMurco Express learned Falk was black, the company rescinded his offer and gave it to a white man with an extensive criminal record. They thought that by using the stereotype that only white people will be sold to by white people, that that would be something that would work for them. This week, an Atlanta jury awarded Falk nearly $3.4 million, finding DeMurco Express was guilty of race matching. Falk's attorneys provided evidence that showed the company's founder only wanted to hire white people between the ages of 26 and 46 to better cater to the American market. They knew that this was discrimination. They knew that what they were doing was illegal and they chose to do it anyway because they believed that they could get away with it. Folk and his attorneys say the verdict sends a message to companies here and abroad that racist hiring practices won't be tolerated in Atlanta. It felt gratifying. Folk's attorneys say DeMurco Express has not hired a black person since 2020 when that whistleblower left the company. They believe the company continues this practice of race matching. We did reach out to DeMurco Express for comment. They did not return our calls. Folk says he plans to open a trucking company with the money. We're live in Midtown Atlanta. Zach Summers, Atlanta News First.